But how holy is Jerusalem to the Arabs? When Arabs worship in the Mosque of Omar, they face this niche, for this niche faces Mecca in Saudi Arabia. The Arabs in Jerusalem face towards Saudi Arabia to pray. The Arabian center of worship is Mecca, not Jerusalem. To the Jews, Jerusalem always was and ever will be the center of their worship. Western powers insist that Jerusalem is negotiable in any Israeli-Arab peace talks. Jerusalem is not negotiable. Archaeology and history confirm Jerusalem is in the hands of its rightful owners. Remember Zechariah's prophecy. All nations who involve themselves in the Jerusalem issue will be sorely wounded. The nations of the world had better heed this warning. are determined that their state will never be destroyed again. Masada was symbolic of the destruction of the Second Commonwealth. Its defenders are glorious heroes of Jewish history. At night, in awe-inspiring ceremonies on the slopes of Masada, new Israeli Defense Force recruits take the solemn oath, Masada shall not fall again. They have kept their oath. The IDF has fought five brilliant wars and emerged from the Lebanese war, rated the fourth strongest military force in the world. But the Jewish people are weary of war. Israel wants peace. Camp David proved that Israel is willing to sacrifice much for peace. They gave Egypt the whole Sinai. This made their southern border very militarily vulnerable but they were willing to take this chance for peace. They gave Egypt the Sinai oil wells, which had supplied 75% of their energy needs. This played havoc on their economy, but it was a price they were willing to pay for peace. And still the world asks Israel to give more. Israel asks, what have the Arabs given for peace? Many applaud the 1993 peace accord between the PLO and Israel as a positive gesture toward peace, but have deep apprehensions that it may be a strategy by the Arabs to gain a foothold in Israel from which to launch a future assault. Arab military sophistication is on the increase. Seemingly time is on their side, and despite the existence of so-called moderate Arabs, many still feel that the Arabs are intent on the destruction of the Jewish state. History has shown that world opinion toward Israel is, at best, fickle. And this raises the question of how long the United States will continue military and financial support. Can Israel survive the overwhelming long-term problems facing her? The Jewish people was ordered by God to settle in the land, while for other people there is no speci specific religious duty to live in a certain land. But another point that is interesting is that while the reality of the Jewish people is a known fact, the idea of a Palestinian people is something that was creating recently for political reason. We easily admit the existence of an Arab people but claiming that those uh, Arabs who live inside the Israeli territory are Palestinians and that they form a, sing a specific nationality is something that has no ethnic or historic basis, but just uh, is just based on recent politics. Even in my opinion, 
Arabs have the duty, have the right to live in Israel, but of course, just like in every case, a Muslim by must abide by the local law. So uh, Arabs can have the right to live in Israel as long as they abide by the Israeli law, just like it happens to Arabs and Muslims who, who live in uh, whatever part of the world.